Uh, well, James slaving away there. I'm with Gordon at the moment. Um, Gordon, how do we think he's doing? Um, well, so Early far nothing's come out. Right. And uh, <laughs> I'm slightly nervous. He's also working very closely with Edwina, which is very dangerous. It's not a good sign, I've is been it? doing it for the last five days and I don't feel well. No, we saw earlier on, we caught you. I don't know if you were aware that you were going out live on ITV, but no, you were shouting at her quite forcibly. Oh, well, I mean, she ever cooked the risotto three times. Um, right. I think it's Jen's fiancé is in the dining room and they've waited an hour and 25 minutes for right. risotto. So you let her have it? So I said, can you please move your ass? And she said, oh, shut up. <laughs> when you really need that in the middle of service when you're yeah. up to your eyeballs and shit. So, uh, what do we think of James? Do you think he's got a chance of actually um, um, accomplishing this? Very flappable, very um, focal, and um, very charismatic. Whether or not any food's going to come out in the next 10 minutes, I'm slightly nervous. Yeah, I, I, I would um, say not. Right. I, I would say unlikely, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being pessimistic. We can live and hope. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, well, let's hope, yes, that, that something good comes out of this uh, hideous mess. Well, uh, James had the most votes when the uh, phone lines were frozen earlier on, which is why, as a reward, he's running around like a headless chicken now. Uh, but the lines are about to open again, and on Sunday, the celebrity with the lowest number of votes will be leaving Hell's Kitchen as we begin to search for the one celebrity chef that you want to see standing shoulder to shoulder with Michelin man uh, Gordon Ramsay. So, uh, who should it be? Here's a look at the eight runners and riders. At no point, even in my lowest moment, have I, have I wanted to go home. Because that's, I'm, and I'm not going to, it doesn't matter how bad it gets, I'm not going to. You know, I'm not here for six months, I'm only here for a week, so a bit of hard work, didn't hurt, never kills anyone, did it? Even if I'm the first person to go home, which I, I'm assuming that I will be, then I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I've achieved something already. I'm, I made a promise that I would stick this out and I now feel stronger that I'm able to um, fulfill that. I'm sure things will get difficult again, but, you know, I'm, I'm fucked if I'm going to give up now, frankly, because um, otherwise <laughs> all that, the effort over the past couple of days will sort of be for nothing. Last night it, it came together in a big way. Uh, it was very exciting. And I began to feel much more calm and collected about it. Probably didn't look it, but what's going on inside the brain is, is, uh, is quite different. Um, I began to feel that, uh, left to my own devices, I could do this. I would quite like to see it through to the end. It's, I, I could give a shit about winning, genuinely give a shit, but it would be nice to be there and just, uh, you know, a couple of days ago I would never have said that. Gordon and, and Ange and Sarge have, have really taught me something and I actually will enjoy knowing how to cook stuff and maybe have a dinner party and just say, I'll do this, you know. I would like to stay because it has been a challenge for me. It's been hard work though, but it's kind of, it's taught me a lot as well. So we've got three more services, three or ten, oh my god, ten. Ten makes me feel ill. I just want to do ten more services. And I actually sort of like the buzz just before um, service starts. When you're kind of scrambling around trying to figure out if there's anything you left out. That's pretty exciting, I have to say. You know, I, I love that, you know, some of these people that are, that are here and, 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 you know, we've been having a great time and making, you know, I've made some new friends, definitely. We, we work in this state of heightened drudgery. You know, you just slog away at it, but it's fine ingredients and the freshest produce. <laughs> Uh, you know, I didn't know what these people, any of these people were going to be like before I came here. And I, obviously, you, you got, everyone's got, got to have an open eye and mind to give each other the benefit of the doubt, but everyone has been fantastic. All my celeb friends are so wonderful. No, but it's... No, I mean, no, I, of course... You, well, t I'll tell you, actually, the absolute honest truth is, of course I should go first. Any bloody lunatic looking at this show goes, for Christ's sake, get that idiot out. Because I really didn't think I was going to be as bad as this.